quick, Sasuke, use your Rinnegan! <laughs> Yo, welcome everyone, Sanji Uchiha here, and welcome back to the channel where, as you know, today is... Uh, well, it's specifically still the 16th, but today is the 17th of January, and you don't know how it's set on a monthly basis here on the channel. Three days before the chapter drops, we talk about our expectations and our predictions for the upcoming chapter of Boruto Naruto Next Generations. Of course, if you're new here, welcome to the channel. Be sure to let me know what you think um, about my thoughts and expectations and let me know your thoughts and expectations in the comment section below. Definitely leave a like, subscribe, we're on our way to 20,000 subscribers by the end of 2021, so I'd appreciate the support. But yo it's it's that time again that time to really talk about our expectations so let's get right into it all right so this chapter is like it, it almost feels like every month i could say literally legitimately say like anything can happen in these chapters going forward the only thing that i really would want <laughs> is for these chapters to be like a, like a hundred pages but that's unrealistic to think that we'll get that from Kishimoto and Ikemoto at this point in time. But all fun and jokes aside, this chapter is one that I feel like a lot of persons are looking forward to. And I know I can say that about almost every chapter every month, but it's just the truth at the end of the day. Honestly, looking back on how chapter 53 ended where we had Borushiki or Momoshiki coming in after Kuwaki finished off Ishiki. We had Momoshiki coming in, taking out Sasuke's eye, well, his Rinnegan eye, and of course, he's making use of the fact that our quote-unquote heroes are basically exhausted and basically <laughs> battle damage, battle weary. So where do we go from here in the story is the better question, guys. Now, let's break it up. What are my personal expectations? Let's start with Boruto. So, of course, as we know, Momoshiki has taken over Boruto's body and is seems like he's in the process or he plans to take out um, Naruto, Sasuke, and Kawaki. That's what it seems like. But I do expect it's going to be more than just that because over the course of the last months, you know, going back and forth with you guys in the comments section, I don't remember who exactly, but Somebody brought up to me that the fact that, yo, Momoshiki essentially could have killed Naruto from before, but didn't. So, at this point in time, I'm gonna go throw it out there that I expect that Momoshiki might not try to kill them, or maybe not all of them at least. And there's more to Momoshiki making his move now than meets the eye. There's more to it than that. Although we know he was waiting for them to potentially take out Ishiki, even though he himself admitted that they, he didn't expect them to take him out. So I'm kind of wondering where things are going to go with Momoshiki, where that's concerned. But that aside, in terms of what else I expect, I expect this chapter to establish or start establishing the power dynamic between Boruto and Momoshiki. You know, similar to back in the day where we had like, Naruto and Kurama and step by step, you know, episode by episode, eventually you start to get a better idea of how the exchange of power is going to go between Naruto and Kurama and how Naruto can use his abilities in his moveset, the consequences of using his abilities um, as his own, and just along the lines of that is what I'm expecting to get with Boruto and Momoshiki. Especially since, like I said in last month's expectations video, the fact that Boruto's certification is, <laughs> is about 75-80%, to 80%, Kishimoto has to establish some dynamic, some set of rules that's going to say, yo, Boruto gets X power, X ability, somehow suppresses the process or something or maybe some inner dialogue between him and Momoshiki come to some agreement something like that needs to be put in place or at least some pro something like that needs to start being put in place essentially and I think we'll get that with chapter 54 again as I keep saying as we inch closer and closer to the Boruto time skip now Boruto aside um <sighs> Sasuke. <laughs> Sasuke, Sasuke, Sasuke. I think Sasuke is one of the characters that a lot of you are really looking forward to seeing how he's going to perform for this chapter, besides being out of chakra, that is. Now, on a serious note, we, and I mentioned this before, 
Sasuke mentioned to Boruto that, yo, if you get out of control, I'll be the one to stop you, like, to the best of my abilities. I'll, I'll take the responsibility of ending your life as your teacher. And I've said it before in previous videos, it wouldn't make sense for them to establish that, you know, that, that gun, for lack of a better term, in the story and not take it up and use it. So it's going to make sense. So one thing I'm looking forward to in this chapter is... If not a excellent performance from Sansuke from a combat perspective, and I would really want it, but on a realistic level, it's probably not going to happen considering he's battle weary and he's exhausted and probably he's low on chakra, all sorts of foolishness, if I'm being honest. But from a character narrative standpoint, um, I think we're going to get a big push for Sansuke's character or at least a reinforcement of what his character represents in the Boruto era right now, especially when it comes on to the dynamic between him and Boruto as his master, as his teacher. And I think I wouldn't want to say death is going to be on the table, but we're potentially going to inch closer to something along the lines of Sasuke getting some major injury. I mean, apart from, you know, the Rin Rinnegan. <laughs> so just that because it's my it's my I'm, I'm, a, I'm of the opinion that you know boruto is still going to travel with sasuke after this and leave the village so i don't see sasuke dying but i do see him having a major character moment a major moment between himself and boruto after boruto potentially works out starts working on the kinks of what the power dynamic between him and momoshiki is going to be so there's that and <laughs> even though I know we probably can't expect anything too crazy from Sasuke right now, I'm hoping we get some tactical, at least some tactical showcase if we're going to get a serious fight in the chapter. Just for, please, Kishi, please. <sighs> but that aside, Naruto Uzumaki, <laughs> the general himself, um... To be honest, I actually see Momoshiki using the Byakugan or something to at least point out point out to us the readers what is Naruto's current physical state. More like some exposition to say, oh, probably Naruto will try fighting and Momoshiki will be like, oh, your barrier mode transformation, that life risking attack technique you use, it affected your chakra system and this, 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 and this way. I mean, something along the lines of that. So I'm expecting that to actually happen for the most part. Um, I don't see Naruto playing like a big, big role. I think it's going to be more so focused on Sasuke and Board for this chapter. With. If, 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 Alright, so if I was to rank how. The crafts are going to play a role in this chapter, well, given who's involved. You know, Boruto, then Sasuke, then Kawaki, then Naruto. But, yeah, I think it's going to go like that. But speaking of Naruto, as I was saying before, even though we'll probably get an idea of what's, how his chakra system has been affected, I still don't think we'll get the big picture, we'll get like a good idea. And then probably after this is all over and it goes back to Konoha, we'll get a better idea of, you know, the repercussions of, you know, the damage that's been done to his system and how it's going to affect the whole governing structure of Konoha and the whole ninja world by extension. And given if in this battle that if Boruto goes ahead and injures Naruto in any ridiculous way, it's going to factor into any discussions or, you know, political debates or... Any consideration when it comes on to handling the fate of Boruto going forward. And speaking of that, you can just plug in my video here. You can also check out my Boruto Lee's Konoha video. I can talk more about, you know, how them setting up things for Boruto going into the time skip. And, you know, of course, leaving the village is on the table. So, there's that. But, last but not least, Kawaki Uzumaki, <laughs> that rhymes, himself. Um... Now, Kawaki was a big focus for me for like last chapter, or even going into last chapter specifically. But now that he is quote unquote lost karma, um, I'm wondering what's going to happen with him going forward. Now, I don't expect him, I know a lot of persons feel like he actually still does have karma. But I feel when he comes on to chapter 54, similarly to Sasuke, I expect Kawaki to like more dynamics of how the relationship between him and Boruto is going to be 
handled going forward, I think we'll see more setup for that going forward into the future because the, the further we go along the further myself and i feel like a lot of persons are saying like koaki is the true main character of the story and probably borto is the one that's evil and koaki is trying his best to stop things in his own probably messed up way maybe so i i, I think this chapter is going to serve to give koaki add to his list of motivations of what he needs to work towards in the time skip and as we inch closer to that flash forward scene, which I've also dissected um, last year in terms of a video where I talk about, you know, analyzing his lines from the flash forward, um, saying he's not really evil, yada, 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 stuff like that. I think I did that video in October. Yeah, if not September. <laughs> I did three major Kowaki videos last year, which all spoke to like the fact that he may not be evil more or less. So, yeah, but there's that but all in all by the end of the chapter i'm going to probably predict that probably either naruto or sasuke are both are going to get some major injury um probably boruto might come back to his senses and they might finish the chapter ending back in kanoa i mean i feel like i'm rushing through but given the piercing of the manga um, the piercing of these chapters because to be honest, I didn't expect Ishiki to <laughs> I didn't expect Ishiki to Be dead already if I'm being honest. So given the piercing of the manga And how it's kind of more of like a snapshot for the anime to expound and build more on I actually see them ending up back in Konoha by the end of next chapter um, leading into chapter 55 so yeah, but let me know what you think guys let me know what you think about my expectations and there's some of your expectations for the coming chapter as well because trust me it's going to be sick <laughs> i'm not gonna lie so yeah but anyway one last um should i probably put this at the beginning of the video all right so it's a case where for the last three months you guys have are pretty much aware i've been live streaming my live reactions to the chapter on the day as it drops but unfortunately, this this week, I'll be at work <laughs> when the chapter drops. So, what I want from you guys, I'm gonna create a poll, but you can also leave your comments in the comment section below if you make it. If you actually made it this far in the video, what would you? What do you think I should do? Should I do what I usually do before I started doing those live streams, where I'd read the chapter at work, come home, reread the chapter, and just do one video, one review, and call it a day? Or should I hold off on reading the chapter while I'm at work and then come home and still and still do my live reaction live stream? Let me know what you think. I'll create a poll on the community tab here for the channel and you can cast your votes there, but you can still leave your comments and let me know what you think I should do in the comment section below. Because yeah, honestly, at this point, those live reaction live streams are like some of them like they bring a lot of traffic to the channel. So I want to know if it'll be worth it because you know, reading, by the time I get home, it's gonna be like 6, 7 Eastern Standard Time. So, yeah. <laughs> I, I wonder if it even makes sense. If a lot of persons would even still come out for it. So, I just that. But anyway, thanks for tuning in if you made it this far. Again, if you're new here, thanks for tuning in. Thanks for the support. You didn't have to watch the video, but you did. If you're a return subscriber, respect. You know how it go already. Respect if you tune in. Um, hope you guys are having an awesome Sundays when this video should be going up. So, yeah. So, if you haven't, definitely check out my Boruto episode 182 live reaction and review. <laughs> so, yeah. But, yeah. I've rambled on long enough. Thanks for tuning in. Let me know what you think about what I should do with the upcoming chapter. Let me know your expectations. Like, subscribe. And I'll see you in the next Boruto video.